Wait, 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 wait. Let me take the one question from the most interesting guy that I know in the press. That's you. Mr. President, there had not been a U.S. service member killed in combat in Afghanistan since February of 2020. You set a deadline, you pulled troops out, you sent troops back in, and now 12 Marines are dead. You said the buck stops with you. Do you bear any responsibility for the way that things have unfolded in the last two weeks? I bear responsibility for fundamentally all that's happened of late. But here's the deal. You know, I wish you one day say these things. You know, as well as I do, that the former president made a deal with the Taliban. That he would get all American forces out of Afghanistan by May 1. In return, the commitment was made, and that was a year before. In return, he was given a commitment that the Taliban would continue to attack others but would not attack any American forces. Remember that? I'm, I'm being serious. I, no, I, I'm asking you a question. Because before, no, 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 wait a minute. I'm asking you a question. Is that, is that accurate, the best of you or not? What? All right, uh, there's a second part to that interaction, but Cenk, I'm gonna go to you first. How do you uh, yeah. react to that? So first of all, don't tell him that he's the most interesting man. Uh, but it's obvious that he wanted to take the question from Fox News because he had that Trump talking point prepared and he wanted to get it out. Mm -hmm. and, and so but so overall, that was well played. If you ask him a question back and expect an honest answer, you gave him an honest answer. Yeah, the buck stops with me, right? You think Fox News is gonna give you an honest answer back? Of course not, they're not gonna ever criticize Donald Trump. They're not gonna say something, and in this case, not even criticism. I, I think it's a good thing that Trump made a deal to uh, with the Taliban. And so you could turn back around if you're a right wing and if a Democrat ever did, oh, can you make a deal with the Taliban? No, in order to withdraw from a country, you gotta make a deal with the people who are in power. And the Taliban was in power, obviously, de facto, and now in reality. So it's a totally fair point to say, hey, if you're gonna blame me for withdrawing, well, your guy's the one who wanted to withdraw and made the deal to withdraw in the first place. How could that possibly be wrong? That's obviously correct. I just don't understand what the alternative would be, right? So for those who are now critical toward Biden for the collaboration with the Taliban to evacuate US citizens from the country. Well, as we know, those negotiations started under Trump. But I don't even blame Trump for that, right? Like as you mentioned, you give him credit for that as well. Like what was the alternative to that though? What was the alternative? If they're in power, if they're in charge of Afghanistan, how else would we evacuate US citizens, US troops, personnel? How would we get them out without the Taliban attacking them? I just don't, I don't know what the alternative would be. But with that said, let's go to the second part of the exchange. Uh, basically, you said you squarely stand by your decision to pull out. Yes, I do, because look at it this way, folks. And I'm gonna, I have another meeting for real. But imagine where we'd be if I had indicated on May the 1st, I was not going to renegotiate a evacuation date. We were gonna stay there. I'd have only one alternative, pour thousands of more troops back into Afghanistan to fight a war that we had already won relative to why the reason we went in the first place. I have never been of the view that we should be sacrificing American lives to try to establish a democratic government in Afghanistan. Our interest in going was to prevent Al Qaeda from reemerging. First to get bin Laden, wipe out Al Qaeda in Afghanistan, prevent that from happening again. As I've said a hundred times, terrorism is metastasized around the world. We have greater threats coming out of other countries, a heck of a lot closer to the United States. We don't have military encampments there. We don't keep people there. We have over the horizon capability to keep them from going after us. Ladies and gentlemen, 
it was time to end a 20 year war. Thank you so much. He's right about that. He's absolutely right about that. So I think he yeah. handled that perfectly. Yeah, so that this part is indisputable. He's like, what, what we're gonna stay, as Anna said, even before Biden said it. Like, what, okay, so what, we're gonna put 10,000 troops more, 20, 100,000, how long were we gonna stay? Five, 10 more years, it's absurd. No, withdraw, by the way, don't let the media lie to you. Three quarters of the country is in favor of withdrawal. Yes, Biden's uh, overall popularity has taken a beating here because every single person in the media is criticizing him 24 seven. But the important part of that clip is notice that's Fox News asking a pointed question about whether it was right to withdraw. Mm -hmm. Because if you'll notice, if you go on social media, people will pretend whether they're in favor of cable news or Fox News or right wing and, they, and there's a, this amazing coalition of like the establishment and the right wing beating up on Biden together because the establishment loves the military industrial complex and the right wing doesn't care if it's right or wrong, they just wanna attack Biden, right? So that's Fox News criticizing the withdrawal. But when you go on social media, they all pretend like, oh no, no, we're just criticizing the exit. No, 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 uh, oh, you guys are being unfair. You're just supporting Joe Biden for no, no reason. We're just worried about the exit. We're not worried about the withdrawal. Then you go on television, no, they're worried about the withdrawal. They wanted us to stay forever and ever and ever in Afghanistan. And that includes Fox News. And they're wrong, they're 100% wrong. You could, of course, Talk about how the Pentagon, the CIA, and Biden collectively did not do the exit right. But you cannot say that the withdrawal was not right. If you, th if you say that, you're being absolutely absurd and almost no American actually agrees with you. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.